Hey guys, it's Tony, Thin Reef Designs, and today I'm going to talk to you about what's new in Adobe InDesign. So, Adobe Max happened recently, which means all the apps for Adobe have updated, and there's some good features, there's some bad features, there's some so-so features. So let's go over what's new in Adobe InDesign CC 2018. Now, like all the Adobe apps, when there's a big update like this every year, there's a lot of enhancements that you're not going to see, a lot of behind the stuff seen. So there's stability, there's performance. A lot of the apps are actually loading up faster, which has been an issue sometimes on lower hardware systems or, or older systems. But now it looks like they're fixing it. So let's start with my favorite features. Let's go over here, get our type tool, and we will go up here. Now the big thing about Adobe InDesign is there's it's mainly font. You want to work with type, you want to get it all right for print. Well, the main issue a lot of designers have is we just have too many fonts. So how do you sort them now? Now you can sort them by font type. So say I don't like this, but I want another handwritten font. All my handwritten fonts come up. Well, actually I wanted a slab serif. All of them come up. But let's say I like this font, but I want one that's similar to it, but not exactly like it. These little squiggly lines will say show similar fonts. It'll pull up all the fonts on your computer. If there's any on Typekit, it'll try to find those and also suggest them to you. It's great for those designers who are trying to find fonts and can't find some that are just the right one that they need. Another big thing that people are excited about for Adobe InDesign is that there is paragraph, borders, and shading. Shading's always been there, but it's got enhanced a little bit, got a little bit better, and borders are new. So. We got our in our type. Let's hit these three little lines here, and you will see paragraph borders and shading. Now this dialog box will pop up. Like I said, shading's always existed, so if you hit shading preview, you'll see that this pops up and it's giving us an example of what it could look like. But not just on top of that, we can also go to borders. We can have borders down. We can select rounded corners, make it as tight as we want, change the thickness. We can down a little bit, add some offset. So this doesn't have a lot of use, but it does have some use. It's a lot easier than grabbing a text box, or grabbing a box, sorry, making it around there, and then not turning out as well, or it won't jump around when it gets printed. So next in the updates, there's also updates for the CC library to make it easier to drop and drag files in. So prior, you could take this text box you wanted, drag it in there, and drop it. And when you dragged it back out, it would come out as a graphic. Now you can go over here, select this, hit add, and you will have more options. So you'll get paragraph styles, you get character styles, those are things that already existed. But on top of that, you also get text. You couldn't have text before, it would just come in as a graphic and leave as a graphic. So you couldn't go in, edit it, go into Photoshop, edit it there, and then bring it back in. That wouldn't work. Now it can. There's some smaller changes that I want to talk about that I don't personally use, but you might want to look into. Um, if you use object styles, there's now the ability to select its position and its size, and it will keep that on each page. Um, gradient swatches are now allowed. Also, there's the ability to add EndNotes into Adobe InDesign. You can add these manually, or you can directly import them in from Word, and they will keep there. Well, guys, I, this is pretty much it for the new InDesign update. Honestly, there's some performance and enhancements that are going to make my workflow a little bit faster, but it's overall just the kind of feels like a maintenance update. Things that have been needed that feel great, but InDesign still kind of feels like the redheaded stepchild of Adobe. So, 
go out, go use InDesign. See you guys in the next one. Bye.